Hello children, how are you all? It was lovely to see some of you in school today um, and we're looking forward to welcoming a lot more back tomorrow. Um, hope you've been enjoying the sunshine with your families and getting out and about while you can uh, as well as doing some school work of course. Well we're going to continue with our story of Danny the Champion of the World and we're going to be reading this each day in school but for those of you who are not going to be in school you will be able to catch it on the YouTube um, and Mrs Walter or Miss Gibson or I will be reading it to you. So if you haven't heard it so far, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it before you see Miss Gibson reading the story to you today. So Danny the Champion of the World, one of my favourite stories. It's all about a little boy called Danny whose mum unfortunately died when he was a few months old, leaving him in the care of his dad. But his dad is wonderful and he brings up Danny on his own in their gypsy caravan where he lives with no electricity and running water near a big wood called Hazel's Wood and on a piece of land that has got a filling station, a petrol station and a mechanic's um, great big shed on the land too as well. So Danny's dad is a mechanic by trade as well as filling up people's cars with petrol. Danny lives with his dad happily and doesn't go to school till he's seven and by the time he's done that he is also able to be a fantastic mechanic and he can put engines back together in cars. When he is seven, he then goes to school and Danny's dad then decides he's a little bit older and he can leave him at night to go and indulge himself in his favourite secret world of gypsy. Now, I know you're wondering, what does he do? Because unfortunately, night his dad went out. He woke up and when his dad wasn't there he was very scared and waited up until his dad got home. His dad had to explain to him where he'd been and it was up to Hazel Wood where he had been poaching. Poaching? So Danny what's poaching? And if you do not know poaching is when you steal some pheasants or other birds off some land usually owned by rich people. Now Danny's dad explained to Danny that his father had shown him all the tricks of the trade and taught him to be a great poacher when he was younger. Because when he was younger they were starving at some point and his dad needed to go and poach and catch these pheasants just to give the family some extra food. Danny and his dad weren't starving but his dad really enjoyed it and had missed it. So now Danny was older Danny's dad felt he could actually go and do that poaching and leave Danny asleep in the caravan at night. So Danny wanted to know how he did it and there were two methods and you'll hear about them in the book. The one method is called the horsehair method and what you do is you soak raisins overnight in water because it turns out that pheasants absolutely love raisins. They go mad about them. So you soak them overnight in water so they get plump and fat and juicy. Then you take a horse hair out of a horse's tail, which is possibly a bit dangerous, cut it to about this length, poke it through the raisin so there's a little bit of the horse hair either side of the raisin poking out, and then you put them on the ground. When the um, pheasant comes across them, they will actually pick them up in their mouth, but as they swallow them, their hair gets stuck and it paralyzes them. It doesn't hurt them, but they can't move. They can't move at all. So then the poacher can come and pick them up quickly and put them in his sack. The other method is known as the cone hat method. Cone hat, were you thinking? So you get some paper, you roll it round so that it makes a little cone and you pop it on the ground. Pheasants, when they're picking things up, along they come, picking up raisins, one, two, three. Oh, what's that there? put their head into this hat. But then, when they lift their head up, it's stuck and they can't see. And because they can't see, it stops them in their tracks as well. So Danny's dad has got two methods to go and get these poached pheasants for them to eat. So Danny now knows about his dad and he knows that his dad is going to go out because his dad will tell him on a night when he's settled down in his court. 
or snuggled in your flower pot. So now you know what happens to Danny and his dad. Okay, so they're living in Hazel's Wood and Danny the champion of the world is going to be continuing. Enjoy. Bye.